Michigan defense and for Hunter Dickinson. Franz Wagner with the ball for Michigan. Back-to-back 21-point -back games. He says hiring people who are smarter than he is. He says he has no problem doing that, and he cited Zach Hamer, the video coordinator, Stephen Gentry, one of the assistant coaches, and Neil Ganta playing in the Big Ten this year. Yeah, the Big Ten tournament will look a lot like the NCAA tournament with quality of teams. I mean, it's ridiculous. Good, you can break out of that and have big games. I think he's got to really look to score in this one. Austin Davis into the game for Michigan. Georgie Bajanashvili. Healy might have been shaken up on the play. He is just getting back into it here at the other end. Livers for three. He moves the ball, and he's such a good cutter. Juan Howard told us how he and Wagner have both embraced the uncomfortable this year. But Andre Curbelo, who uh, has played internationally for Puerto Rico, his dad played for Puerto Rico in the Olympics, and he's third in the conference in assists per game in conference play, and that's going to be a goaltending call. A little pressure here, and Curbelo gets it over, and Curbelo going coast to coast, and he lays it in. He was at. Uh... Matha, so he if you have any governmental issues he can take care of those too <laughs> shot clock down to four Frazier the lefty up and good in the winning the game in overtime and clinching the Big 12 regular season championship that is the first regular season conference championship for the Bears in seven post defense by the freshman Hunter Dickinson Coburn 0 for 3 no points Dickinson 0 for 4 no points for Bello with a turnaround Brooks retains possession and cutting his Johns for the easy layup. Turn around, too strong. Offensive rebound, Grandison. Miller for three, got it. Well, one thing Michigan really does defensively is they don't overhelp. You know, they stunt, they're their good pass. And good patience by Dickinson, his first points of the night. Hello, the high score in the game with 11. Picking up the slack for the injured Desumu. Keeping the ball on a string. Now into Coburn. And about the best position he's had all night. Life works just not letting him catch the ball. Brooks keeps working. That should have been a goaltend, I think. But they play on and the bucket goes down. Maybe not in the best of moods after two hard-fought, close losses to Kate Cunningham and Oklahoma State in the last few days. Austin Davis just trying to move Coburn. He's getting one step further away from the basket. Terrific game plan by Illinois defensively. Dan Jay, back to you guys. All right, came off that little rub screen. He just rolled right down to the basket, took Austin Davis all the way under. There's Trent Frazier with a steal. Oh. From there, without allowing a reversal. Davis. And he just cannot move Coburn at all, but he finds a way to squirm around him and score again. Directive from the health department because of a COVID variant in the program, but not on the basketball team. The Baylor Bears dealt with actual uh, report. Hey, and back comes Illinois. Unusual for Michigan. The ball went inside, and every Wolverine just stood there and watched. Nobody was cutting, moving, screening. That is really unusual for the Wolverines. Slapped the floor to start the second. Ready for the tip of our Sonic blockbuster, Dan Schulman, Jay Billis. With Illinois and Michigan into the second half, the Wolverines have lost. Only it was in drop coverage on that side pick and roll. Kofi Coburn did not stay connected to Dickinson. And Dickinson half, Illinois on the road by nine. Illinois right now, according to Joey Brackett, sitting on the one line is the fourth and final one seed. And it's one of these moments where the play-by-play -play -play guy says, uh, write down the time and score, and let's see how this impacts the game. As Coburn goes to the bench with his third, Bajanashvili back in, and Smith with a corner three. An even better play by Wagner. Well, so now we've got Austin Davis against Georgie Bajanashvili for the foreseeable future with both Coburn and Dickinson on the bench with three fouls. Randison for three. Into one shot. Another really good rebound by DeMonte Williams. And Wagner, who came in as hot as anybody, now one for seven in the game. Bijanishvili. Miller, the freshman, he can fill it up. Has had kind of a hot and cold year at 28 points in his debut this season. Step back three. Yes! Illinois J is leading number two Michigan by 16 points. Anybody that saw this coming, I would like to have heard it before. Michigan, he's got six. Nobody has more than six points tonight.
for the Wolverines. Corbello, no. Follow, yes. It's a blowout at the end of a game. The Sumo injured, so he's not playing at all tonight. But Frazier's probably the guy who's got to take charge, and it's Bajana Shvili. And that's not the way the Wolverines play. You know, the ball's not moving, players are not moving, they're not running anything, and that's horribly unusual. What a great move. Team to four in second chance points in this game. That's remarkable. Brandon John. So Grandison played for Bill Carmody at Holy Cross, and he really knows how to cut which this league is. If the Big Ten gets four, one, or two seats, which is very possible, that is something that, that would be the first time that's ever happened. Coburn inside, Fox is the best team, has been the best team in the country. They're not tonight. They're not playing like it tonight. But Michigan, in my judgment, has been, it's been them and Gonzaga as the best teams in the country. So, that was a, a great basketball team. And that's a heck of a debate whether oh, 16,000 people there. But tonight for the Illini, all they're going to hear is their bench going nuts. That's going to be the dominant vibe at Chrysler Center. Yeah, er everything's different and, and this in, in the park, and it would be the highest level of intensity and all that stuff. Well, they're playing without fans. It's not that big of a deal. They're, they're handling it, but Illinois is handling it much better. They've been great. Count the bucket, that'll be a goaltending call on Livers. I think now Illinois, they don't want to hold the ball, but they want to be a little more deliberate, run some clock. Right leg or right ankle a little bit. Trebello all the way to the goal. Gets a, a perimeter shot where, where he starts knocking down threes with regularity, and I think he will. He's going to be a great player. I think this personnel. But uh, he's got a value system. And one of the things we've talked about, Jawan Howard being perhaps a, a Big Ten Coach of the Year, National Coach of the Year. Brad Underwood's in that conversation, too. He, he's done an amazing job at Illinois. Brooks. I'm already searching my phone frantically to see if I can get one on the way home tonight. <laughs> Boy, he is shifty. He's got game. One of these. They, they, they had a loss at Michigan where they got beat by double digits. Other than that, you know, Michigan's played well in just about every every game. This little shot at a good friend, Dave. I yeah. Hawkins good looking pass. for help. Good. And that is sad. Tournament that he is back and, and able to, to play like he plays. Amen. Seventy-six fifty-three.